my grandma and grandpa, they're like people, you know, regular people that do eggshell land. Um, let's see, eggshell land, um, okay, summing up eggshell land. Eggshell land. Oh God, <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, you amaze me, he's a person that will not sit still for one second. I would get tired, and I don't know how he does it. Yeah, I am actually amazed by him. I'm satisfied with the extra large. He paints these eggs out of enamel. Thousands upon thousands of beautiful colored eggs. He came up with the idea in 19-something, or earlier. People maybe who have seen it when they were children now bring their children. While I'm working, I always try to sneak over to uh, the egg show land. I was not expecting this at all. It's a sitcom kind of thing. He has to have everything done a certain way. So there's some rules that we have to follow. It's one of the moments when all the trouble happens. One. Mother Nature's at her worst right now. And then a hailstorm five years ago, that was another disaster. These uh, renegade eggs, they're unlike ours. One day he surprised me and he came out with his ax. I was a patrolman at the time with the Lynnhurst Police Department and I was assigned a call to go to eggshell land. For some reason those teenagers just, just couldn't handle it. Some people just really don't get it. Eggshell Land is an outlet for my mom's art to express herself artistically. And it wasn't for her artwork, I would be nothing. I don't think that they could have been with anybody else. About the third day, she said, aren't you going to kiss me? So I did. <laughs> I never stopped after that. Really, the kids love it and what it's all about. The Eggshell Land is part of the fabric of our community. You know, it's just so ingrained in my life from the very time I was born. Both me and my husband ended up in tears crying. I couldn't ask for anything better than this. Welcome to Eggshell Land. This is fabulous.